Hey friends, in this video, I will guide you how we can install and configure ISKG Initiator as well as ISKG Target in Windows Server 2022. So this is my lab environment where I just installed and configured my Active Directory on this domain controller and this is CL-SRV01 where I will just install the ISKG Initiator and this is FS dash SRV where I will just install the ISKG target so basically if you say about the ISKG initiator so basically ISKG initiator is a software component that runs on a client computer or servers and allows it to access storage resources on ISKG target so whatever the ISKG uh, target having the storage that can be accessed through the ISKG initiator so basically the big difference between ISKG initiator and target is that only ISKG initiator will access the storage resources where ISKG target will just provide the storage uh, for ISKG initiators. So these two servers will be ISKG initiator and this server will be ISKG target. So let's start by just installing the ISKG initiator. So basically you have the two options to install the ISKG initiator on your server. First is that if you just go through the graphical mode, so you need to just click on the tools and click on the ISKG initiator and just click on the yes. So basically by default, this ISKG service is always st uh, stopped. So you have to just start it. So you can start it through the the command uh, through the PowerShell command or you can do it by graphically but uh, I will show you how we can start this service through the PowerShell command so I am going to open this PowerShell windows where I just created uh, this uh, PowerShell command and uh, from here we can install the we can start the initiator service on multiple servers if you are connected on the same network so Currently, I just type the CL-SRV01 and CL-SRV02. These two are the servers where we are just trying to, to start the ISKG initiator service. So invoke dash command and CL-SRV01, CL-SRV02 and uh, get service ISKG and uh, it will just search the ISKG service by using the get service ISKG and then set service startup type automatic so this will just set the startup type is automatic and then start so I need to just type start if you want to stop it so just uh, just type here stop dash service but because I'm just going to start the services uh, on multiple servers so what I need to do I need to just click over here and you can see there is a uh, message where it will just prompt if you successfully started the services so this has been just started and uh, now if you go through the uh, server manager and click over here again tools and click on the ISKG initiator now you can see the services has been started so the similarly you will just go on the CLSRV02 where you need to also cross check if services has been started for this now just go on the server manager start server manager now go on the tools ISKG initiator now you can see the service has been started on the CL-SRV02 server as well so this is the method which you can use to start the service so once you start the service so you have to also uh, execute few commands by just typing this command because I just written it in a notepad I will just go on the PowerShell and I will just put this command so once you will type so this will just uh, show the complete details for your ISKG and click over here
now you can see these are the details of your ISKG initiators for these two servers so first is the CLSRV01 and uh, this is CLSRV02 now once you just executed this command so you are able to see the details of your uh, uh, initiator port and all now you have to also execute this command so this command will just register the ISKG session permanently if you just rebooted this server so still this will be just maintain the the ISKG session so I am just going to execute this command select this one and then click on this now once you just done this so now you would need to just go on the file server where you just want to install the ISKG targets now just click on the server manager and then click on the add roles and features Here I am just going to install the ISKG targets because we just installed the ISKG initiator on both servers CL-SRV01 and CL-SRV02 because we just initiated to remove the ISKG target over here so that's why I am just getting this uh, uh, removal started on FSSRV so we need to just wait for a while once this will be completed then we can again install the ISKG targets on this server as well now this has been removed successfully now we are just going to install the ISKG target again on this server so click on the next by clicking on the add roles add and remove roles click on next click on file and storage service basically ISKG target is the part of the file and storage service so just expand this file and SKG services again and here you have to select ISKG target server click on next click on next and click install so just wait for a while this will just install the ISKG target service on this server and then we will just configure the ISKG targets will attach the disk and this disk will be accessed through the ISKG initiator as well this has been successfully installed the ISKG target of your roles and features now click on the close once you install the ISKG target over here so just go on the file and storage service and click on the ISKG and here you have to just create a virtual disk that will be accessed by the ISKG initiators so I am just going to select the D drive where I will just create the virtual disk and uh, I am just going to assign a name for this virtual disk so this is data disk click on next and you have the options like uh, dynamically expanding, fixed sized and differentiating so I am just going to select the default that is dynamically expanding you can get the informations like what is the dynamically expanding here and this is the same like fixed sized so I am going to assign 60 GB of the hard drive for this disk and going to click on the next and uh, this is the new ISKG target so click on the next and type a name like uh, ISCI SI data this is the name I'm just going to assign and here just saying this is not valid so you you cannot specify underscore so I'm going to select yes so this has just change the values change the character and here you can specify the description this is is CSI targets 
and uh, click on the next here you need to just specify the initiators all the initiators uh, who will access the storage from this ISKG target so click on the add and uh, enter a value for the selected type so I'm just going to specify I'm just going to access through the IQN so if you go through the CLSRV 01 where we just executed this uh, uh, PowerShell command so they have just provided some details like uh, IQN through the IQN this server will access the storage resources so every servers where you are just installing the uh, or configuring the initiator so you will get a unique IQN number that will be used to identify by the ISKG targets for providing the storage resources so if you see the CLSRV1 having the IQN number this and similarly if you go through the CLSRV02 so you will get a new ISKG initiator uh, IQN number this is the IQN number for SRV02 and uh, this is the IQN number for SRV01 so you have to just specify the IQN number while accessing the storage resources so here I am going to type the IQN for this one so this is the IQN number of uh, CLSRV01 so you can even specify the IP address DNS name or MAC address so I always recommend you to just put the IQN number so click on the OK so this is the IQN number of CLSRV1 similarly you have to just put the IQN number of SRV02 so just go on this and uh, copy and uh, type over here now click on ok so these two are the IQN number from which the storage resources will be accessed now click on the next and if you want to specify the authentication so you can just put the check over here and just specify the user and password so in our case I'm I'm just leaving it blank and clicking on the next and click on the create so it is just creating a virtual disk and then it will just assign it to the targets and uh, click on the close similarly you have to just uh, create uh, another virtual disk similarly like how we did so you need to just uh, uh, click on the new ISKG virtual disk and uh, select the location I am just again selecting the D drive click on the next and I am just putting a name like uh, quorum so later I will just also configure the failover cluster so I'm just putting this name like quorum and later in the later video I will just discuss about what is quorum and all so select the dynamically here I'm putting 1 GB space now click on the next click on the next and click on the create and creating a virtual disk again click on the close so these two IQN initiator ID is available over here 60 GB we have just specified for uh, one server 60 GB and second is also 1 GB this is the there are the two disk and uh, in the later video we will see how we can access this uh, storage which we have just assigned for these two initiators uh, first is the 60 GB and second is the 1 GB so this is the way which you can follow to install and configure the ISKG initiator and targets on Windows Server 2022. Thank you for watching this video.